we want to welcome you. This is the Global Watch International Call. It is June 8th, 2022, 3 p.m. Jerusalem time. This is the Israel Watch, which we have every week at this time, with our very own Karen Davis leading, and we are in for a special treat today. So let me um, speak a blessing over you, Karen, and then we'll turn it right over to you. Father, I just am so thankful for the Israel Watch, so thankful for Karen, and so thankful for her congregation, uh, which extends uh, way out beyond Haifa. And we just say, thank you, Lord. We just declare great, great blessings on Karen, great, great blessings on uh, Kehilat. And we just say that there is going to be tremendous, there already has been breakthrough, but there's going to be tremendous breakthrough for the rest of this year um, over Karen, over her congregation, over Israel. We just declare it's a new day, it's a new season. And um, we just say, Lord, that you're doing a new thing and we recognize it. And we just, from us, from around the nations, we're thrilled to see it. And we join in with supporting Israel and who, Lord, you have called Israel to be. And uh, we count it an incredible honor and incredible privilege. We just declare over Karen, um, great joy and uh, great shalom, great peace. We declare over, over you, Karen, um, incredible favor that uh, God's favor surrounds you as like a shield and uh, we just declare over you as a leader that you would have a continual spirit of wisdom and revelation that God would pour out that you would have that constantly that sons of Issachar anointing that you would know the times and the seasons and you would know what to do we just declare renewed strength over you and great uh, protection from the Lord himself, that the Lord, he would hide you in the shelter of his wings, that no harm would come to you, no destruction near your tent. And we declare, as we do every week, that the best days of your life and your ministry are ahead of you and not behind you in Yeshua's name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Fred. You know, I wanted to just declare to every one of us that the best days of our lives are ahead of us because we have a glorious inheritance yes. that is waiting for us, stored up. Oh, God. Oh, uh, we thank you that that's all ahead of us. So Lord, even today, we want to forget what lies behind and fix our eyes on, on the prize, on the goal, oh, God, the, the high calling that we have in you, oh, God to be able to run that race hallelujah praise god hallelujah hallelujah um today uh we're gonna do um i think i mentioned this maybe last month but um i really felt led that on the second wednesday of every month now of the of the israel watch we're going to uh, do it more like a worship, intercessory worship. Um, just take the whole hour. Uh, there's not, you know, there's not a planned guest speaker or, or particular subject, except that we do want to stand in the gap for Israel, and we'll let the the, the prayers flow out. But I, I really, um, really feel the need. Uh, I mean, I, I'm sure we all do. Um, just to uh, just to saturate ourselves in the presence of the Lord, and um, I th I think we're all very aware that that um, you know as we're stepping further into the end times, these days are so intense. I don't know about all of you, but it seems that that the battles are relentless. You know, you get through. We have a breakthrough. We just got through breaking through. I know personally, I just came through a, a particular battle that we broke through, we're celebrating the victory and boom, the next day something else comes from the other side or, you know, and, and so how do we continue? And, and it's really, um, it really is the, the, like it says in the book of Daniel that, that uh, the enemy, you know, is, is trying to wear down the saints, okay? So one of the most important things to be able to continue to run the race is the joy of the Lord. I mean, truly the joy of the Lord is our strength. And, you know, we just came through, uh, we just celebrated Shavuot, and the, I mean, last week we, we talked about it and prayed for an outpouring of the Spirit. And, um, and one of the primary things that, that happens with the outpouring of the Spirit, the, the, 
uh, the Spirit poured into our hearts is that, that it's by the Spirit that we have joy. And, and if we, were just <laughs> we were just talking before the call um, started, and, and out of Fred's mouth, he quoted this scripture that I was just gonna, I wanted to share with you this morning, uh, this afternoon, um, uh, from Romans 15, 13. Uh, May the God of all hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, and, and that um, we can't, the, for us to have the joy that, can, that will carry us, um, uh, we, when we call on the Holy Spirit, yes, we're calling on the Holy Spirit to, to send his fire, and it's the flame, uh, it's the fire of his love that is on the altar of our hearts. Uh, but Yeshua says to us, if you abide in my love, then your joy will be full. My joy in you will be full. And so, so the outpouring the whole, is the Holy Spirit that is shed abroad in our hearts by the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, and uh, so I, I, my, my prayer today is that, that there will be, uh, Lord will continue to release to us that joy of the Lord. I like to call it celebration warfare. You know, when we, when, when we dance in the congregation, uh, you know, like childlike, um, playfully dancing before the Lord um, as we proclaim his victory. Um, it's, it's a warfare. It really is a warfare against the enemy. Um, so, hallelujah. <laughs> so having said that, I want to start with, with a song that um, you've heard me do before. Hallelujah. Oh, rega, 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 something just happened with my keyboard. Something strange just happened. Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna have to reboot it. It just uh, went into something other mode. Here we go. Lord, thank you. Thank you for no hindrances. We just bind the hand of the enemy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Lord. Shana Martine. Hallelujah. Can you sure? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. The kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Rejoice in the Lord, Yeshua. Rejoice in the Lord at all times. We will rejoice and be glad in Him, for the kingdom of God is come. Hallelujah. We will rejoice and be glad in Him, for the kingdom of God is come. The kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Rejoice in the Lord, Yeshua. Rejoice in the Lord at all times. We will rejoice and be glad in Him for the kingdom of God is come. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in Him for the kingdom of God is come. Ah, 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 hallelujah. Ah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Rejoice in the Lord, Yeshua. Rejoice in the Lord at all times. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in Him. The kingdom of God is come. We will rejoice and be glad in Him. For the kingdom of God is come. Hallelujah. 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 
We will fight the fight with the joy that's set before us. We will lay aside every weight and the sin that can ensnare us. Forgetting all that lies behind, pressing forward on the upward climb. With the door that's set before us, with the joy that's set before us, with the joy that's set before us, for the joy. In the beauty of your holiness, our eyes will see the King. Yes, Lord, the Lamb of God who died for us, the reigns in majesty, we shall be Lord, we ask you to release a river, O oh God, of life. 
Lord, streams in the desert here in this land, oh God. Karamama Maria She. of Messiah in the land of Israel today, oh God. Oh Lord, hallelujah. Lord, if the water's not flowing through us, oh God, <laughs> how is it going to throw flow through the desert? Akarama shakatanda. Lord, you called us to give drink to your chosen. Hallelujah. Shikona mama ma. Oh. Hallelujah. I don't know if Josie Silver is on. Josie, are you on? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Hallelujah. No, I, I just I wondered if you could begin to pray for the, the living waters to flow freely through the body of Messiah in the land. Hallelujah. Yeah. We can all be praying in the spirit. Thank you, Lord, living, living waters, refreshing, refreshing, living waters, Lord, just flowing, just flowing, flowing freely, flowing freely, no hindrances, no hindrances, all the walls have moved out the way, all the gates are opened, every giant has moved out the way, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for your rain that is coming down, thank you for the latter rain. Thank you, Lord, for the, like <laughs> Ezekiel experienced the water, Lord, just bit by bit by bit. Thank you, Lord, that as we go deeper, deep calls out to deep. So we just thank you, Lord. Thank you for your refreshing. Yes, Karen has spoken about celebration worship, Lord. Mm, we celebrate you, Lord. We celebrate you. And we turn our eyes to you, Lord. Like children, Lord, like children. Faith of a child. Faith yes. of a child. So pure. So trusting. just um let me just tag team on to what Shirley was praying you just I really feel strongly that the Lord is bringing together the body of uh, Messiah and Israel and uh and that um all the, the difficulties or um uh, competition or 
this unity is going to fall away uh, this year and, and that people are going to prioritize coming together and appreciating each other. So we just declare Psalms 133 over the body of, uh, of Messiah uh, in Israel. Just say, behold, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It's like the precious oil upon the head, running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garments. It's like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion. And there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. We just declare that the body of Messiah in Israel is positioning itself to, so that, Lord, that you will command your blessing yes. on Israel, that you will command your blessing. We thank you for the role that Karen and her congregation has in that. We thank you for Avi and for his congregation. We just are, um, there are others, Lord, but we just declare that there's going to be a supernatural breakdown of the walls that have been up and uh, that, that through great joy and great uh, blessing and great peace, that your body is coming together in Israel like never before. And that there is a unity that will not be broken in Israel. We just declare those things in Yeshua's name. Hallelujah. Someone else just go, go ahead and jump in. Go yes, ahead. I want, I want to say, I want to, oh. I wanted to share, I saw uh, in, in a dream uh, bridal chambers, and I'm realizing now that this was for Israel, uh, meaning open heaven, uh, open heaven bridal chambers. And I want to read over Israel, Hosea 2, um, 14. But, but now I'm going to woo her. I will bring her out to the desert. I will speak to her heart. I will give her vineyards. I'll give her her vineyards from there and the Acre Valley as a gateway to hope. She will respond there as she did when young, as she did when she came up from Egypt. And I'm gonna jump down 18. When that day comes, I'll make a covenant for them with the wild animals, the birds in the air, and the creeping things of the earth. I will break bow and sword, sweep battle from the land, and make them lie down securely. And, and, and as we had uh, New Zealand watch was reminding us that you know, all the gifts of the spirit and the uh, manifold ministries, it's in Yeshua. And I want to pray that into this. I will betroth you to me forever. Yes, I will betroth you to me in righteousness, in your righteousness. Israel, in your righteousness, in your justice over Israel, Lord, our good shepherd, in your grace, in your mercy over Israel, that all Israel will understand. Oh, Lord, that you paid it all for them, Lord. We lift up your altar, Lord, your precious blood over Yeshua. And, and in your compassion, Lord, I will betroth you to me in faithfulness, your faithfulness, Lord. We have you, Lord. And we declare that over Israel. And you will know Yehovah. Hallelujah. We will know you, Yeshua, Yahushua. You deliver, and all who call upon you will be delivered. And we're asking you to deliver Israel in these we're, we're you, Yeshua. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Dahlia. Let's go to Utah, and then after that, we'll go to Hillary. Go ahead, Utah. Um, yes, um, I know Peter is on work, but really Ruth and Naomi, I want to pray that they were Israel and, and um, the nations that, that um, they will um, um, get to receive each other and, um, and, um, and to, to recognize also that Israel recognizes like Na Naomi that she, um, uh, um, Israel needs the nations and the nations need Israel and it's this time from from God orchestrated that um, that these two have to come together and walk together to fulfill the complete mission so I want to pray in that Lord um, Father I thank you that it's your time you're the one that sets the times and the season Father and I thank you that it's in your time that these two streams are coming together Lord I ask you for Israel and for the Gentiles, Father, for, for your um for your people, for your pride, that we all um 
the come together as one that we realize that um that the pride in israel needs um needs the um the the church and and the pride and and the other way we both need each other because it's your appointed time father i ask you to prepare our hearts father to um to plant your love for each other in um in um in us into us father your love that accepts each other receives each other that lays its its life down for each other as roots that to naomi your people will be my people and your god will be my god in jesus name amen i pray Uta, I want, can I just I want just want to add to that before we go on um, it was such a beautiful prayer Uta, and and I, I wanted to say that um, what is so amazing what's so wonderful for us as the body in Israel but not just the body but but for all Israelis is that the roots are coming back to the land right now and and I know that many of you are waiting to get on a plane again and come back <laughs> Uh, and walk the land and 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 be with our people and uh, I, I, I just want to say that that um, you bring the living water it flows is it flows through the love of God that's flowing through I just keep hearing testimonies of of um, Israelis who are having their eyes open on every level of society and even government because of their relationships their, real relationships with Gentile Christians who have the love of God in them. Uh, God is really working and um, this is this is this is a time it is to, if you can come back here please do and um, and it because it really it changes the atmosphere here. Amen. Yes. Amen. I want to add something to that. I had uh, when we were praying on the altar in Israel I had this picture that that we as the the, the pride the church the Gentile church we, we had to, um, we were bringing buckets of water yeah. to Israel and we were pouring them in the, it was like a fountain there or like that was dried up. So we were pouring this water and, and it's like, uh, that's our, we, we have, it's our first fruit, like this, the joy of the Lord, we pour it back into Israel. It was just such a great, wonderful picture. I just, I just oh. did that. I had that <laughs> last week for confirmation. <laughs> Totally. I mean, we are being refreshed by those that are coming now. And um, it's just, it, it is. It's so, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hillary, I think you, you had your hand up. Yes, thank you. Yes, um, I'm just excited about the whole new covenant, the reality of the blessing of Abraham to be the father of all nations coming into reality through Yeshua, the seed of Abraham. And he says, behold, the days are coming. And I believe that these days, are, we're right in now, where Yahweh is going to make into a reality in our day, his new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. And as he said, it's not as the covenant that he made before. And when he took his people out of the land of Egypt, but it's my covenant that they broke, though I was a husband to them, says Yahweh. It's like this restoration, but it's like a whole new thing. And I just sense his excitement. I just had this flash in one of our watches of Yeshua seated on his throne in his bridegroom's splendor and uh, crowned and there was this hoopah and over him was this banner of um, a talit and he was just waiting and welcoming his bride to his side and lord we're just so excited to be living in these days and you say that this is the covenant i will make with the house of israel after those days says yahweh i will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. This is what you say you will do, and it will be done. We believe in faith for a great and mighty move of your Holy Spirit. And you say, no more shall every man teach his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, know the Lord, or Yahweh, because they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them, says Yahweh. For I will forgive their iniquity and their sin I will remember no more. 
Oh, and we want to praise you. We want to say thank you. This is your mercy heart. This is your great grace to all people, Jew and Gentile, and to bring together your true bride. And we speak particularly now into the hearts of the Messianic believers in Israel and the Jews who are seeking, who have not yet discovered you, that you are the Isaiah 53 Messiah. You are the Messiah of Israel, the Holy King of the Jews, as well as the Son of the living God. This will become reality. And then you promise, I will give them one heart and one way in Jeremiah 32, 39 and 40, that they might fear me forever for the good of them and their children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from doing them good, but I will put my reverential fear in their hearts so that they will not depart from me. And this is my prayer, Father, Amen. that you would hedge them in, hedge us all in, that we will not backslide. We would not lose our love of you, the truth. We would not come under deception, that we would stand strong with you no matter what the sacrifice and be yours for eternity. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Blair, I think you're, you're next. Thank you. I've been, uh, been stirred in many ways that, uh, that, that Judah and, and that uh, Hillary and, and have, uh, in that the love that we have a ministry of, of reconciliation in Christ. We are ambassadors in the Lord. And he only gave us one new commandment, which as being a guy and being kind of dense. Okay. That's really simple. I like the focus to love as I've loved you love one another. And it's that love that covers a multitude of sins that he preferred us to even his own life and fellowship with the father. I mean, that, that makes no sense to me. I can't, I don't know how to, how to deal with that, but I want to pray into it. So Heavenly Father, we thank you that you loved us so much to send your only begotten son, the apple of your eye to a disobedient and rebellious people, that you sent him to show us the light of life, to love us, show it, show us what your love is truly so that we might not love the way we'd like to be loved necessarily, but to love the way you have loved us that fulfills us, that gives us peace and, and righteousness and joy, Lord. And even as we celebrate uh, the return of uh, and, 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 and the everlasting kingship of the, the lineage of David, that it was in it, it's in Psalm three that he that that we have a the psalm as he was being chased by his son Absalom, or that that at that time after all that had transpired in his life that he's declaring that it's you that are his hope and that um, that he will not be afraid even of 10,000 coming against him. And that's the celebration. That's the joy that you are our hope and our rock. Yes. And that however many, Lord, and truly in Israel, they understand what overwhelming odds are. They understand what it's like to have a, a great offense where there should be a place of worship for you, almighty God. They understand what it's like to be, have your neighbors against you. But you, Lord, are, are holy and righteous and faithful. And by your love, our, our sins are covered. And, and we get to show the love of God that the world doesn't even know. They can't even see it. They're, and they're blinded. But by your grace, Amen. you allow us to show yes. that love Thank and you. pray that we may truly have that ministry of reconciliation, that those who were lost may be found. And like Amen. the sheep 
the, the one sheep that was gone astray, we would hunt and search. And when they find them, just rejoice and celebrate because that's what you have done with us. And we may be your people to the praise of your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Afifa. Afifa has been, I just want to say, Afifa has, is originally from Egypt, lives in UK, but she has been part of our Kehela to Carmel over the years and really carries a one new man heart. So Afifa, just release what's in you. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Father, I agree and a yes and amen in every prayer that is being lifted in your precious name of Yeshua. Father, I know and I decree that this is a time of refreshing. This is a time of delaying and becoming reigns. Uh, hallelujah. This is a time that when you lift up your people up high, for those who stand faithfully, remaining faithfully to you. And Father, I pray with all my heart that, uh, that the picture will be completing, that the unity of Arab and, and believer of Jew, Father God, will come together that people have been uh, maybe gone astray but come back come back to this to your first to your first lesson to the first son come back and and unite yourself and gather and link as Ruth did cling to Naomi come back Father God, we call it for those who have been in the congregation or for those in the, in the land that uh, for some reason the deception entered to the heart. Father God, we come back. You call them to come back, Father God, and clink again as Ruth did clink to Naomi. And Lord, I pray for those who have got a mentor for us, got a calling in the land. And I'm reading from Leviticus 10. And uh, this is what the Lord spoke, saying, By those who come near me, I must be regarded as holy. And before all the people, I must be glorified. So, Lord Jesus, we pray for everyone. This is in the front line in ministry, Father God. There will sanctification will happen right now, Father God. That you will come and sanctify each one of us, Father God, for those who grafted in to come and sanctify, Lord God, and we can stand before you blameless, Father God. We can stand before you knowing that you are increasing the measure of holiness into us, that we seek in it and desire to live in it, Father God. And I pray, Father God, that you glorify yourself in Israel. As you said, you're not a man to lie, but you man who fulfill every promise to Israel, the man that he said, I will defend you, the one who said, I betrothed you. We come to the Father God, Lord, the Father, Father again, Israel, Father God. We thank you for the time of regathering that all the believers back from all the nation into either a regathering that they did you back to the land through Aliyah, Father God. What a beautiful time, an exciting time that we live, Lord Jesus, when we can live. The one you man pleases your heart, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. And then you will send the miracle and you send the signs and wonder in this land one will more. Father God, we declare the blood of the Lamb over every house, Father God, of the believers, whether whether Jew or Gentile, Father God, the blood of the Lamb, Father God, over them, over their mind, over the soul, over their heart, over their house, over their assets right now, Father God. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, what you started something now, magnificent, you will complete it for your glory. And it Amen. must be glory, your glory yeah, that we see. It must be glory that we bow before your glory. We must Hallelujah. humble ourselves before your Father God to see that glorification of the God Almighty. In Yeshua Christ's name, amen. 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 Molly. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just I want to declare this, Lord, from Isaiah 43 and 44. Father, you said you will do a new thing and it shall now spring forth. Mm -hmm. And we, Lord, are seeing in our days, we are aware that you are making a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Yes. 
the beast of the field shall honor you and the jackals and the owls because you give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the deserts to give drink to your people, your chosen ones. Lord, we thank you. This people, Israel, you have formed for yourself and they shall declare your praise. And Father, we thank you that this is... Not for the next generation, for Lord, from Isaiah 44 and verse 3, you say, For you will pour water on him who is thirsty and floods on the dry ground. You will pour out your spirit on your descendants, Lord, on the descendants of your people and your blessing on their offsprings. And we declare that and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One will say, I am the Lord's, and another will call himself by the name of Yaakov, and another will write on his hand, belonging to the Lord, and name himself by the name of Israel. Father, we speak that over the generation. We speak that over the next generation that's coming over. Lord, that they will declare your name. They will, Lord, declare the praises of, your, of, of their God. Lord, and we also declare... Father, that you are restoring Israel, Lord, even though a partial hardening has come upon Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come. So all Israel will be saved. As it is written, the deliverer will come out of Zion and he will remove ungodliness from Jacob. For this is your covenant with them when you take away their sins. Father, we are so looking forward to the fulfillment of all these promises. And Lord, as you say in the book of Revelation, Lord, let this pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb in the middle of its street. On each side of the river was the tree of life, which bore the 12 kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit each month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. There shall be no more curse because Jesus, you became the curse that we might become the righteousness of God. The throne of God and of the lamb shall be in it and his servant shall serve him. They shall see his face and his name shall be on their foreheads. Father God, we thank you that you have chosen your remnant and Lord, you will put their name and they will see this promise come to pass in these days, Father God. We thank you that there is, there is this hope and future which belongs to Israel and we come in agreement as the nations and Father, what Israel will experience, Father God, will be for the healing of the nations in the covenant of Abraham. In Israel, all all families of the earth shall be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I just, I just want to share, um, I, I know we, we only have a few minutes left. Um, uh, I, last night, uh, I happened to be watching, um, there are many, many uh, initiatives on the internet um, of programming uh, on all kinds of uh, social media, cable TV, Shalanu, Metabrim, One for Israel, um, and and the younger generation is preaching the gospel. I, I watched a, a program last night, young women preaching the gospel, the next generation, young men preaching the gospel, and it's like there's seed being sown all across the land. I mean, it's just, it's like saturating the airwaves. So um, I just want to pray that, that, Lord, that you will draw people to listen to these. Lord, you, uh, Lord, just by your spirit, uh, people can come across something on their newsfeed and uh, that, that these waters, these rivers, uh, that you would water the seeds. The gospel is going out. Uh, uh, all over this land, and there is a, a, a next generation coming up that is is on fire for you, Lord. We pray, Lord, for that generation, oh God, that you turn up the, uh, Lord, just fan the fire and the passion within them, oh God, uh, so that when they preach the word, there will be signs and wonders following, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I ask for a release of men and women uh, together, uh, Lord, to, to reach our people in Yeshua's name. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, Fred, uh, do we have a, a time for any other prayers or 
Um, yeah, you know, you know, Susan Higgy is on the line. I don't know if oh, she wants to unmute okay. and just and just pray into this as well. Susan, yes. if you're available, would you like to unmute yourself? Uh, yes, I can. And uh, was there anything in particular you wanted me to pray or just pray? <laughs> Well, I mean, we know your burden is the Holocaust survivors and, and we want to stand with you in that as well. But but whatever, I mean, you know, you're you're seeing this, you're seeing you're in the body here. So whatever's in your heart. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Lord, I'm always in awe. Every time I see what you are doing within the body here, what you are doing within the Messianic congregations but especially what you're doing in the secular field, Father, here. All of us are scattered throughout. Yes, we are of a body. Father, you have scattered us among, we're, we're like seeds that are on the wind, mm -hmm. that I see us just lighting in different places. Even as, as beautiful weeds, the weed flowers, you know, they're, they're blown by the wind and they just show up different places, the wild flowers. And even as Karen was talking about, the people who are coming from the other countries, they're coming in with seeds. And everywhere they're going, and every tour that they're taking, and everyone they're visiting, and even the interactions at the train station, at the, at the grocery store, um, even, Father, the people that you just brought, that you just had here, Paul and Linda, playing music for the people all over for the survivors and everyone else who heard. And what was their comment? I love being among the people. Lord, you planned that. You planned even before COVID who would be here and when we would be here. Mm -hmm. We give you praise and we give you thanks. And Father, what I'm asking is that every seed that is sown by every person who visits Israel, that you would water it and that you would make it grow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. For any other way, Father, we may not be able to bring these people into our congregations, but the congregation can go to them. Mm -hmm. And the church from around the world can go to them. Hallelujah. And we ask that you open this up. Father, I see flowers all over Israel. But I'm not talking about the natural flowers that we have here. I'm talking about the flowers that you are planting and the flowers that you are making grow. Father, I ask that they fall in good soil. And Lord, that you will just raise them up. Raise them up. I see more and more people asking questions and interested. We thank you for that because you are the one doing that. Father, I, I thank you myself for the interest from the Holocaust survivors. The interest from, from the people about the Holocaust survivors, they know what we do. And Father, it's you that's bringing the, the seeds, you that's planting the flowers, you that's making it grow. Hallelujah. We are simply the ones that are the sowers, Lord. We have our sowing bag and we are throwing the seed wherever we go. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for this. And Lord, I give you praise and honor for the music that Karen puts out because that I consider to be the water on the seed. Her music, Lord, what you give her, the power through music. And I thank you for it in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. 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 Thank you, Susan. Uh, Fred, I just saw that uh, Afifa says she has a short word. Short can, word. can you make it really short? And it is very short. It's just I was doubting myself, but they said it's a time of gathering. But the, the Lord said, "I will bring the wealth of the nations to you, as I have, as I have promised." Just as the Queen Sheba brought the best of her, but what she returned, she returned a far more greater gift of Solomon and his wisdom back to her nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, um, shall we just finish with a song? Yeah, um, yeah. And then, and then you can close this off. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. 
You are our king, Malkainu, the king of Israel. Hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of lords. you for uh, focusing on just worship and praise and then uh and then prayers we this is such so refreshing and uh so important and we just believe that it's that there's going to be breakthrough today and this week and uh so again all you who are in the land we from the nations just bless you and uh and we just say uh may the god of hope uh, be with you. Yeah, you would have joy and peace in believing you would abound in hope by the power of the Holy Amen. Spirit. And uh, 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 yes, we're so thankful. Amy uh, Winchester, would you like to just close us off in prayer? Please just go ahead and unmute yourself. Father, we are so uh, grateful that as we lift you high, that you pour out your waters as a rushing stream on our spirits that you are watering our dry lands but you're watering this land of israel that you are causing all the seeds of the centuries to come forth we call them forth in jesus name in the lives of those that serve there now and in the lives of those that are coming and those that are coming to visit, those that are bringing, even at great cost, they're coming and laying their lives down so that they might be sprouted as seeds flung out. You said after many days, we're going to find those fruits. We're going to find those blossoms because you're the one that's pouring out the rain. You're the one that's sending your spirit to rush down and stir up and bring life and so we thank you, Father. We worship you. And I thank you so much for this time. I thank you for every person on this call and for the blessing that you're pouring out as you're drawing us together as an army. We are being drawn together as an army, proclaiming, you said, with the of high praises of God in our mouth and a two-edged sword in our hand. We will march right up. And we thank you, Father, for what you're doing. And we worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And all God's people Amen. said, Amen. Everybody unmute Amen. yourselves. Amen. Thank you, everybody. Amen. Thank you so Amen. much for Amen. standing so with us. Amen. Thank, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you. 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 Thank you.